everyone this is Miss QT style welcome back to my channel where I'm leading the way in fashion beauty and non candy coated talk first of all if you see me looking down it's because my computer screen is down and I want to make sure I'm on camera <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing what I do best fashion I love fashion that is my passion that's my first love so basically I, I wanted to come to you today um, with a trend that has now become a classic. A lot of times, you know, trends is supposedly fashion that is in right now and may go out of style, but sometimes trends become classics. Um, a perfect example of a classic is the little black dress or the pearl earrings, okay? So I'm going to show you today, though, something that has become a classic because it's coming back around. But first, I want to show you the front of this Ebony magazine. I love to purchase magazines such as Ebony um, to get fashion tips from it. But I just want to show you on the front my girl Mary J. And as you see, she's rocking a leopard sexy dress. Animal print is just the hottest thing going right now, no matter what. And I want to show you guys her statement piece earrings, her bold statement piece. So um, Mary is rocking it. And I just wanted to show you guys that. But um I'm going to open the inside and show you a trend that has become a classic, and that is plaid print. Okay? Now, this is more for like a business office. Hope you can see that. My lighting is kind of bad. Business office um, outfits. The latest trend for this fall and winter is plaid. Okay? And I'm going to turn the page and show you some more. Let me get close up. As you can see, look at this plaid cape. You know, and all of this is name brand stuff. This is a coach. I'm sorry, name brand pieces. This is um, a coach uh, cape. And it's plaid. And it was paired with a red pant. And look at the shoes, the black. And this yellow bag, which is really cute. And it adds a little um, flavor to your office outfit. I mean, just like you add flavor to food and it tastes better, I think when you add flavor to fashion, it looks better. Okay, and on the other picture, you have a plaid, more of a checkered-like skirt, and then with a solid top and purse and shoes. Okay? And then over here, you see the beige cream-colored blouse and pants with a plaid rain purse. This is a rain um, purse because it's made out of rain and I, I see it here. Okay, it's a plaid rain tote is what they call it. And um, a few more pictures up here in plaid. Okay, so plaid is obviously going to be and is the latest trend for the winter time. Okay, and all of these things are Coach, Burberry, and everything like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to look like Burberry and, and all those different um, name brands, but for um, a reasonable price, how you can mimic these looks, okay? Okay, so I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to go ahead and show you real quickly some plaid pieces that I pulled from my closet. Um, one piece is new. Um, you can find plaid at Ross, plaid clothing at Ross, um, Marshalls, Dee Dee's Discount. I see them there all the time. You can even go to um, Macy's and department stores like that and find you a, a nice piece that is plaid. So let me get started. I saw um, this at a thrift store, and it's, it mimics the Burberry design, but it's not Burberry. 
But like I said, I'm showing you how to um, imitate those um, name brand items. I mean, you can get the name brand if you like, but, but for those of us on a budget and you want to look um, designer, right here. I found these at my local thrift store and they're little crop pants. And if I was wearing this, I would pair it up with, I'm sorry, probably a black turtleneck like this and with some long rider's boots that go up to the pant leg. And I may or may not put the shirt in the inside, but if I was, was to put the shirt in the inside, I will rock it with this wide belt around the, you know, the bottom of the pant, the pant, I'm sorry. And something like this with some um, long black writer's boots, okay? Now, this piece only cost me $4.99. And I haven't worn them yet, but I've been had them and I have them in my closet, okay? Now, this is another piece. A lot of these things I bought and I haven't worn yet. This is a long prairie skirt. That's what we used to call it back in the day. Prairie. <laughs> long skirt. It goes all the way to my ankles. And this, I would add a blouse of color to it. Like a red blouse, yellow blouse, um, a dress, red uh, turtleneck. And I'm saying turtlenecks because I'm getting ready for the fall and winter. So, and this is a long skirt. Or you can wear wear it right now with just a little um, tank top, cami-like, you know. But I'm saying turtlenecks because of the winter time. And this also, I got thrifted. And it was $6.98, but it was 30% uh, off that day. So, I got 30% off of it. And again, haven't worn it yet, but I will rock it this winter. Okay, and moving right along, you guys may have seen this in another video. This simple, um, well, I'm not going to say simple, but just an ordinary is what I'm saying. Vest, but look at the material, makes it unique. It's plaid, and then the back has this print on it. And this is actually blue in here. It's not black. I will rock it with some, you know, to work with some brown, I'm sorry, blue, um, dress slacks and a little shirt underneath or if you wanted just to add another color to it white which is a basic color you can wear a white um, collared shirt underneath it with a pair of blue slacks and then some camel colored shoes like this that's how I will rock it okay and then this little dress I purchased this dress a while back you know what I don't remember exactly where I got it from but it probably was Ross DDs or AJ Wright before AJ Wright shut down. And it's a plaid dress. And when I wear it, I wear it with some black leggings and a wide red belt and my red shoes and red accessories. But you can wear it however. You can keep leave it black and white and just accent it with black and white accessories or black accessories. But you can add color. I like to add color to my items. Like yellow and red and stuff like that. Okay? And then if you are the type that want to wear like a solid top and a solid bottom, you can do that. But always you can add a touch of plaid like such. A hat. This simple black and white plaid hat. Or this brown one. If you had like on cream color or yellow. So yeah, I would definitely try the plaid trend out if I were you. And just buy some pieces and mix and match until you get the perfect look. That's what I do. I'll change, get in the mirror and change outfits five times if I have to until I get that perfect look. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to keep up with the latest trends or to look like you're wearing designer clothes. Go to um, Ross, Marshalls, different like little outlet stores, JCPenney's, and don't sleep on the thrift stores. Check out the thrift stores because they have pieces in there that you won't see anybody else with. So just check it out. Don't knock it until you tried it. And again, this is the plaid trend for office wear. Or you can do it on a weekend too. You can dress in a um, casual outfit wearing plaid. Okay. And as far as shoes, I would suggest wearing something like this with the outfits. Like a little short boot 
a little gray boot and it has the buttons here. Or a shoe like this with a big heel, a thick heel. And these I got from Forever 21. Just, you know, to me, plaid and stuff like that look better with thick heels, either on a boot, a shoe, a long boot, half boot, or what have you. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I will be doing more like this, different fashion trends, tips. You know, I'm not an expert. Like, I don't have a document, but I think that I know my stuff when I am talking about fashion. So I hope you can get something out of this. If you have any questions, just please ask under the video, and I will answer. And thank you for watching. And it's a wrap.